can see we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, the uh, the book and the new book that has, has come up. Um, the last recent book that uh, many glad to receive, and that was Mike Caveney's uh, tome on sawing, which is a, a great book and a great big book, <laughs> very, very heavy then as well, uh, complete with uh, uh, great history, fantastic. I would highly recommend if you haven't already gotten this book, this is uh, a great new book also that uh, just recently came out uh, by, uh, by Mike Caveney. And uh, he's going to be at the uh, convention uh, in a couple of weeks for the um, Collectors uh, Expo. What is it? The Magic Collectors Expo in Austin, Texas. So that's going to be coming up very shortly. It's uh, April the 15th through the uh, 17th, I believe. And I'm going to be reporting on that from the... Uh, Magic Word podcast. So if you can't attend, you can tune in and watch each day as to what's going to be happening. Well, anyhow, a lot of other things have uh, uh, been happening here, and I just wanted to kind of share this uh, with you. I say a lot of other things, I guess, uh, insofar as the the magic book of uh, Max Molini uh, is concerned. And um, the last book that I had, and some of you might have in your libraries then also, is Molini and His Magic that Di Vernon had written. Uh, a lot smaller book than, than with the one that Steve Cohen has re recently uh, submitted. And, of course, this is uh, replete with uh, line drawings and everything then, too. But this was uh, quite uh, an older book. And so the one that, that Steve Cohen has completed is uh, not only brand new, but then uh, probably the last word that ever needs to be said on Max Money. Because he has, that is, Steve has been pretty much dedicating his entire life to uh, researching and uh, telling everybody uh, about Max Molini. Anyhow, we're going to be unboxing this. I've got, you see the box right back over here. We're going to unbox that in just a second. But before we do, I thought you might like to first get to just to whet your appetite a little bit to see a, um, oh, I see Nigel Quinn. Hey, Nigel, all, all's well. Uh, is, is the sawing book in two parts? Very funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so let me, um, uh, let's see over here. I've got a short video, very short video that is by Steve Cohen that I wanted to share. If you have not yet seen this, I want uh, you guys to uh, get excited about this. So let me introduce uh, Steve Cohen. Max Molini enthralled kings and emperors, czars and presidents using just two dollars worth of equipment you could find around your house. He was spoken of enthusiastically, with reverence even, by the billionaires who invited him to perform in their mansions, their yachts, and their private islands. Surprisingly, very little Max Molini material has been in print for magicians. Until now. My new book, Max Molini, King of Magicians, Magician of Kings, represents a lifetime of research. I've based my career on this material. In these pages, you'll learn methods for Molini's most famous effects, like the blindfolded card stab, his card techniques for forcing, controlling, and palming, and details of the button-biting stunt that made him famous. There's a whole chapter about the production of a block of ice. Why should we even care about a magician who was famous a hundred years ago? Because in my opinion, he was ahead of his time. The kind of magic we're doing today, up close, impromptu, or impromptu seeming, was exactly what Molini pioneered. His presentations still hold up, and I perform several Molini tricks in my own show. These are the ones people talk about even years later. The information in this book will help you build a legend of your own. It contains 95 tricks, many you've never heard of before, over 200 instructional photos, countless stories that will surprise you, and my ideas about what made Molini tick. If you love Molini as much as I do, you've been waiting a long time for this information. Well, the wait is over. And there you go. And so we're back then again. Thank you, Steve. That was pretty cool. I just thought that you might be, uh, again, as excited as I am about uh, about this book. Uh, and so I'm going to uh, open this up. It came from Squash Printing. Just got it today. It was delivered. that
Oh. Like that, I don't to uh, switch cameras again. Uh, let me know just in the in the text. Okay, there we go again. So we have it. Um, so this was sent by media mail, which meant it uh, took a little bit longer to get here. But let's take a look at how it looks. So we got then good, a lot of good bubble wrap and everything on the book. So it's the boxes are made just for that, uh, just right, and heavy bubble wrap. And Uh, again, hopefully you guys are able then to see. There we go. Like the video is kind of rolling in and out. Anyhow, so we'll get the saran wrap kind of taken out from that then too. So beautiful gold stamped front, the furnace piece over here. And I remember seeing the galleys of this when I was at the um, Magi Fest uh, yeah, just uh, last year and uh, talked with Steve Cohen and um it looked fantastic at the time and i was excited about ordering this uh just from looking at the pictures and reading a little bit of what he had in the galleys over there too this is uh, again uh, stories uh and the life of max Molini. and if you watch the video you saw that he was talking about how that well here we are some photos as well there are 95 tricks that are included as well some of which you have not seen or heard of from before that was from Molini's act and that includes also the more famous ones like the production of the block of ice as well as the button biting uh, trick that is uh, in here somewhere and uh, card stab of course and it looks like it has a, a good index uh, or appendix towards the end and just other information here as well. Let's see about, I, I know this, as I said, is a big and, and a heavy book. Let's
Oh, I'm back again. I keep losing you. I don't know what's happening over there with the connection, but nevertheless, I said the Maximilini book had about 520 pages, and the sawing book uh, then has uh, about 450 plus pages over there. Uh, so equivalent size of a book <laughs> as far as you know, sitting on your shelf and everything. Uh, but I'm anxious to dig into that, and I think you guys probably will be too. So thank you for uh, spending a little bit of time with me, and sorry for the problems <laughs> with the with the video over there. But I think it. Uh, um, you get the general idea and you can order that through squash publishing and uh, that is uh, 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 potter and potter auctions uh, if you will that's going to be uh, the same place over there so if you're going to be going to the magic live uh, this year i'm sure that you can probably pick up a copy i think they'll have some some copies there as well hard copies you can pick up without having to to ship them although it was media shipping and just takes a little bit of time to to get to you uh, aside from that as i mentioned i'm going to be going to the collector's expo in a couple of weeks and be updating uh on the magic word podcast that's over here you see that's going to uh, uh, give you an update on the daily uh, convention about what's going on there. Anyhow, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, Nigel and Jeffrey. Thank you guys for uh, po uh, posting something over there in the uh, side panel then as well. Appreciate everybody uh, coming in and listening. Thanks also for listening to the Magic Word podcast. And uh, I'll just give you a sneak preview. Next week, we're going to be talking with Eric Olson. And the week after that, with Chuck Caputo, we'll be talking about Anverti while we're talking about some uh, of the uh, great magicians from the past, uh, like Max Molini. We're also then that we just have here now. Well, in a couple of weeks, we're going to have Chuck Caputo talking uh, about his collection of, uh, of stuff he has on Anverti and uh, talking a little bit about his life, which will lead us up into the time we have going into the uh, convention. Anyhow, that's all we have. We've unboxed it. We're excited. Now it's time to go and read it. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great evening. This is Scotty out.